Welcome back, Nerd Army, to another episode of Exploring Comics. So guys, today we will be discussing and exploring the new 52 history of Dr. Alec Holland, a.k.a. Swamp Thing. So if you guys have ever wanted to know anything about the protector of the green, the creature of the deep himself, Swamp Thing, let's get into this one, guys. Stay tuned and check it out. So guys, before we begin, I really need to explain something to you. There are five elemental kingdoms in the world of Swamp Thing in DC Universe. Green that is connected to all plant life. Red, who is connected to all animal life. Clear, that's connected to all aquatic life. Gray, who's connected to all fungal life. And Black, which is the rot and connected to death. Swamp Thing is the champion of the green, and he is connected to all plant life in the DC Universe. The elemental kingdoms are always constantly engaged in battle with one another. But that's that. Let's go ahead and talk about the champion of the green and get into the history of Swamp Thing. Dr. Alec Holland is a scientist who is working on a formula that can increase plant life growth substantially. Alec has always felt a strong connection to plants. It's very much influenced his work and really pushed him forward in his research. It's almost like the plants are whispering to him, calling his name and pulling him in. But that was not a coincidence. Alec was predestined to be the champion of the green. The Rot knew this and could not allow this to happen because the Rot itself and its avatar wanted to envelop the entire world. Arcane, the avatar of Rot, he actually had a vindictive plan that he put into motion, starting with killing Alec Holland. So what he did is he broke into Alec's home and actually killed his wife and then tore her skin off and wore it like a suit. Then Arcane visited Alan down at his lab and went up and gave him a big hug. Alec looked back and said, thanks for being you. And right away, boom, a huge explosion destroys Alec's lab catching the young scientist ablaze and his body was enveloped in flames as he ran to get away from the extreme pain he jumped into the swamp to try to put the fire out but the damage itself was too great alec was destined to be the champion of the green but essentially the body was damaged too badly by the burns so the green could not take him over and change him into the champion of the green swamp thing instead he got pulled down into the swamp by the rot. The Parliament of the Green were flabbergasted by this. They did not understand why they, with all this power, did not have enough power to transform their champion, and he sank into the darkness. Now, with no other plan in sight, the Parliament of the Green decides they're going to make a champion out of all plant life, pull the essence of Alec Holland out of his dead body, and put it into their champion. So they create Swamp Thing. Now this creature was not truly the avatar that the green needed, but it did defend the green for a long time, fighting many foes and fighting off the rot in many different battles. But eventually the creature did realize and come to know that he was not Alec Holland like he had previously thought, that he was an entity of all his own. He just had the essence of Alec Holland in him. So what he did, in a crazy turn of events, he actually shoots his consciousness off into space. With this, Alec Holland actually comes out of the swamp and climbs out. He is alive. The only reason he is alive is because when he fell into the swamp, he fell into a coma sank to the bottom of the swamp and was in a coma for this entire time that the other champion was fighting on the green side. But Alec was still very reluctant to become the champion of the green. He fought and fought and fought and refused to accept his fate as the defender of the green. But eventually he does turn around and come back to the side he needs to be and realize destiny is going to happen with or without him and he wants to become the champion of the green. But he has taken way too long to make his decision. The Parliament of the Green does not have the power or the ability to transform him into Swamp Thing. But Alec remembers something. The formula he was working on would give him the power to increase plant growth life inside him. The Parliament warns him, once he becomes Swamp Thing, he will never be able to turn back. And Alec fights with this for a moment and then smashes the canister and becomes Swamp Thing, the champion of the green in all his glory. 
Swamp Thing has had many great adventures throughout the New 52, including one where he teamed up with Animal Man in a big event crossover, where both characters wake up one year in the future, climb out of the rot, and realize the entire world has been taken over by the rot. Not just the world, but every hero in it. So they have to fight many heroes in their rot form, and they had just a great, great adventure. In the story, Animal Man and Swamp Thing, Animal Man being the, the avatar of the red and Swamp Thing the avatar of the green, have to team together to fight the rot. They both eventually take on Anton Arcane and eventually at the end of the storyline are able to overcome him and defeat him. As soon as they do that, they are instantly transported back to present times. Now guys, like always, I want to suggest a couple different comics you guys can check out to get into some Swamp Thing. Now obviously this was about the New 52, so I am going to definitely suggest you guys go pick up Scott Snyder's run of the New 52 Swamp Thing. Yes, the same guy that did Batman in the New 52 did Swamp Thing. This is one of the best written comics I have read in a long time. Scott Snyder is an amazing writer and he really just brings life to this character. That has just held such a great big part of my heart since I was a little kid. I love Swamp Thing. If you guys also haven't checked out Alan Moore's run of Swamp Thing, which is the original creation of Swamp Thing, I want you guys to go check that one out as well. But guys, let me know what you guys thought about this history of and this episode of Exploring Comics. I really love Swamp Thing as a character and I love the New 52 run. It's basically the same kind of origin as the original Alan Moore storyline, but at the same time, they did tweak a few different things. So guys, definitely check both of them out. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode of Exploring Comics down in the comments down below. And also guys, while you're down there, if you have any suggestions for any characters you'd like to see me do right here on Exploring Comics, make sure to put them down in the comment section as well. And guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you rate it with that big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you would. I'd greatly appreciate it. I really enjoy doing these for you and I will constantly be putting them out. I will be doing some big changes to the channel, so make sure to look for that in the future. But like I said, guys, if you enjoyed this, rate it with a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time right here on Nerdsmerize for another episode of Exploring Comics. All right, guys, peace out. If you liked the video you just saw, make sure you rate it with that big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out all the other nerdy videos we have just like this one. Also, check out my Patreon account and become a patron if you like for access to exclusive content.